Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Lucid. We've got another turn here with Asphodel. So we start off with a pretty funny event. We got Vegan getting assassinated. He's just taking a nap at an inn. Vegan's like, who are you? The fuck? Or get in my belly. I'm not sure. But I've got an assassination here. In the court courtyard, nevertheless. He cast Brute Barkskin at the beginning. Not a great spell to cast at the beginning of an assassination battle. That would be disabled, or it wouldn't have happened, I don't think, in the multiplayer version. But these are the compromises we had to make for the single player version. Okay, Scalaria. We are attacking Scalaria on their capital. The forces of nature rise up. Yeah, they don't last very long. We should also get a uh, a Wailing Winds caster. It's so strange that's an Asphodel thing now. Yeah. Yes. So these guys got all buffed up. This is our first time really using these thugs during during this game. But you can see they are very thick boys. 107 hit points, 86. The resistance is so this guy's got moss body. Oh, well, actually they don't have we ideally you do the the water one. Who can do gift of formlessness? We're kind of using the ones we've got right now rather than slamming them. Like, or rather than like casting twice born on particular ones. These are just the ones that have managed to convert. So, uh, anyway. But these guys give zero shits about these boots. And with Blood Vengeance, they're actually really hard to counter bug as well. So, that worked. Oh, we got a mannequin. Oh, I guess these do carry on seed. Oh, that's sick. I didn't realize that. And then we try to storm a fort. Never run through days now. One of these days we're going to forget to do a serpent's blessing on our own guys. But that day is not today. Uh, yeah, so that worked pretty well for events. Lost some population, got some unrest, got some disease, lost some income, permanent income. Got some gems, lost some money. Yeah, not a great turn for events. Didn't get luck. Our scales aren't anywhere. That's part of the problem. And again, this is a feature of fighting impossible AI. They have tons of temples. So our dominion is kind of for shit. But starting off with one dom strength certainly doesn't help that. But we have people out actively preaching. So I've set my little preachers around to preaching. I finished this turn already. We are doing another round. Hopefully this works. Got a little kill box set up here. Dryads again in the middle. The difference between this and last time is we're doing Grip of Winter. So hopefully that works. We're doing Foul Vapors again. We could do Rigor. Actually, maybe we should. Let's see if we can do Rigor Mortis here too. Really put our guys to sleep. That would be nice. Actually, I need two gems here. So Rigor Mortis, Foul Vapors, Life After Death. Hopefully this works. Patrol, we're sending another illusory attack there. And yeah, we're trying to storm their capital. We've reloaded with gems. I think we have gems for everything. We're doing Oaken Army, Darkness, Howl. We might not be able to cast some of these twice. Darkness, we should be able to cast twice. Howl, we probably can... Foul Vapors, or Foul Vapors we can, and Serpent's Blessing we can. Okay, so we, we should be able to cast everything twice. The other risk is we get, you know, this tends to happen to us when we blindly storm AI caps, if you recall from Pegia. But yeah, there could be a ton of stuff inside. We get jammed up in the gate. Uh, they banish us to hell. You know, it can, there bad things can happen, but we're going to roll the dice here. Most likely they're going to attack us with about 600 people outside the fort, I think. Um, and then we're patrolling here because I have a strange feeling this army of 1,400 people is going to come attack us. Foul Vapors isn't actually going to work terribly well here. Um, neither is Darkness. Neither is a lot of the things we're doing. But at least we have Oaken Army. Oh, Serpent's, Serpent's Blessing will work. It's a red, but I think it should cast. Wait, why are we casting that twice? We actually probably should cast Howl instead here. So we've already got somebody casting Serpent's Blessing. We've got Oaken Army. 
Yeah. Mass region would be kind of cool too, but actually this army is mostly undead, so it's not going to do much. Would do something for the centaur. But, but yeah, hopefully we get this fight and can clear these guys out. The, the truth of the matter is there's very few free spawn or chaff units that are worse than mannequins, but dispossessed spirits and ghouls are maybe the only ones. So we're also moving our thug team here in case they attack. They could attack with potentially all of these and we could lose these thugs. But we've got, you know, we've got some stuff going on. And we've also got a dryad moving up to help vegan. So, but we're defending here and here and taking this fort. So we're really only doing one aggressive thing, which is storming Scalaria's cap right now. And I think that's it. Let's roll the dice here and see how this turn treats us. Okay. And we got the turn back. Let's see first if this was successful. This, of course, is the most important thing in the turn. Did we finally figure this shit out? Heck, are we able to kill our incredibly tough to kill panic apostates? Wait, how are you guys sneaking out? Oh shit. There's gaps in the formation. I fucked up somehow. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Not very helpful. Somehow we fucked this up. The, the corners had gaps in it. There's only one guy here. We converted some. Dude, we converted some, even though we fucked up. Got five carry-on lords out of that. Okay, we're getting better. We're not good, but we are getting better. That cannot be denied. They kill a black dryad, assholes. We, t we turned him into a mannequin? Yes. What does she cast? The Vengeful Vines. Oh, dude. Dude. The Vengeful Vines carry on seeded him. Or Dark Seed. Yes. Dude, what a absolute boss. Artemis. Ours now. Yes, I love that. Okay, that was cool. So glad we watched it. All right. Battle for Scalaria commence. That is a big fucking army. We've got a big army. Theirs has a lot of ghouls in it, but not mostly. We've got Horse Tribe back here. Those might be Mercs. Sea Trolls. Eat Great Eagles, which are top-end units. A bunch of these Fire Snakes, which do Fire Flares, which is an area of effect one. That's going to clear out Chaff very quickly. All right. Get out your popcorn. If the enemy does Battlefield spells, we could be in real trouble. We code for the AI. It's for the single player AI. AI is really up the priority of battlefield white spells. I'm doing math detections. Okay, but fortunately, we'll acquire shortens of routing. Valet is doing work. When you're mopping up there, are we? Then it's Taylor. The course to hit the jungle cannot be resisted. Our enemy has not discovered fire elemental technology. And we only lose 150, despite killing 700 of theirs. Nothing terribly important dying. We lost one carry on fury. We got a bunch of carry on giants. Ooh, poggers. Poggers. Scratch that. I believe it's these sea trolls. I kind of have a feeling it is. Yeah, I think I saw one convert. Oh, yeah, here they are. They're popping out. Carry on giants here. Okay. Get them. All right. That was pretty good. So we got some of those. We got a carry on ogre. We lost some carry on wolves. We lost some mannequins. Dude, I think we came out ahead. We traded chaff for like quality units. And then we're storming Scalaria. This is always risky. But we look in good order and there's not much inside. There are a fair number of Thaumaturgs, so they are going to be able to banish the shit out of me. But hopefully we get Foul Vapors out. We do. That's going to limit... It's going to put a cap on how much they can banish us. 
So if they are vanishing us along, we really would like anti-magic. We really could do it too. We just, I said it too a few episodes ago. We need a magic phase over one of the ad -libs. Oh, the Divine Emperor. He passes. Let's see, let's take a look at that again. This was their god. The Divine Emperor. Got Champion Skull. Bunch of Paths. Enchanted Blood. Very cool. You've killed our god. This war will not end until the nation of Asphodel is annihilated. Yeah, well, that's what they all say. Glamour June has got eight. Patrolled out some assassins. Okay. Not a bad turn. We got a lot of these guys. Look at this. We're slowly figuring it out. I think if we blocked them in properly, it would have worked. And I think it would have worked. Let's get all of you. They're all going to have axes of hate. So we're going to return these. One of them actually kept... This guy kept his paths. Didn't get feeble-minded. Or muted, even. So that's quite nice. This guy researched. We'll have these guys... I don't know. I guess we'll have you move over here. We also got some dryads converted. We'll have them move over here as well. Here's the other dryads. These are the ones that hadn't converted previously. But you can see they're slowly getting converted here. Or not converted, but, you know, getting rid of... Mute and feeble-minded. Yeah, it's now beginning to... It's happening a little faster than I thought, to be honest. I would say it's working better than I had hoped. Whoops. Got a couple more here. Yeah. They're, they're converting or getting... Whatchamacallit? Losing their afflictions reasonably quickly. Some of that could be due to Gift of Health. I'm not sure if that's working or not. And oh man, between all of this though, we lost a lot. We lost not that many, 150 in this battle, but it looks like we lost a lot more here. 390, wow. Look at the banishment from the Thaumaturgs. We really do need anti-magic. And now we're in this weird spot where they've got this army of 4,000 dudes. Jesus Christ almighty. That's unfortunate. We need to foul vapors that. <laughs> But what is it? Ghouls dispossess spirits princeps. You can't really super combat in these huge armies anymore because of Twilight. We don't really have enough to have a pitched fight here either. We lost so much in that storming. I think it's still worth it that we did. We, you know, there's a fair amount of gym income here. But wow. Got an enchanted pike. That's kind of nice. Picked up a lantern. That's also nice. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I think our plan is we have to rally troops and other things here, make a decision on whether we can defend this or not. Ideally, we earthquake this army. That would be sick. I don't think we have the required things, though. But ghouls get wrecked by Earthquake. Were there ghouls in this battle? Yeah, there were some. So if you look at these stats, well, 10, 10 defense isn't as bad as I thought, but they don't have any protection. But yeah, they won't get as wrecked as I thought. I thought they were like 7 or 8 defense. <laughs> so I think our mission for this turn is we need to redo this and get more of these panic apostates converted. We need to probably move a lot of the reinforcements from here over here. I don't think we can actually fight in Scalaria. I think we actually have to pass a turn. An exception is we actually do have this guy. He could potentially be a foul vapors thug, where we basically thug, we throw up foul vapors, and he kills the army just by basically sitting there. The risk is unholy command, basically. But I feel like we might be able to mitigate that. It would be nice to also have something that's going to kill the undead here. I can't think of anything. Yeah, nothing that we can do that I can... I mean, we do Ravenous Swarm, but that could target us. We're also undead. But something like Solar Brilliance would be nice. Or, you know, Firestorm or something. Like, anything would be... Like, that would be good. We don't really have access to it, though, that I, that I can think of. You know, Bone Grinding could work here. That would... That, I would say Bone Grinding is an Asphodel special, but... 
it's hard for Asphodel to do. I mean, they can do it, but it's tricky. It, mostly it's a gear that makes it tricky. But this is going to be tough to fight. <clears throat> they didn't attack vegan. So I'm thinking with vegan... Maybe we move... This is risky. Maybe we move here. It's a little less risky. We can move these guys forward. Something like this. Start taking up these temples. Uh, it would be nice to patrol here and get the unrest out, but I don't think that's in the cards for us. This army can probably move out. We don't have gems here. Like a lab to refill on gems. So got to be mindful of that. But I think these guys can probably move here. If we probably let them get on top of the cap, they're going to one turn pop it. Then we have to ride out and meet them next turn. Uh, or we can do the, the foul vapors trap on the cap. Yeah, I guess we do that. Maybe we do howl too. That might also help. Are ghouls inanimates? They are not. So they will, soul vortex will work on them, I believe. So, mm. yeah, that's actually really good. I'm starting to think we actually can super combat in this. So that's going to be our plan. We're going to super combat in these guys. Do we have, I guess we'll bring this guy too. Go ahead and give him the kit. He's definitely going to need one of these. Oh man, I wish I made a, a second one. Maybe he doesn't get this. We're going to have him move in patrol here. And then we're going to have this guy. Let's just dump these off here. We don't need them. I brought her in as a gym mule. Let's have this guy patrol as well. And we're going to put all the gear on him. And so... These guys, we'll script this part together because it's kind of fun. We'll put him here. We'll put this guy here. So they're in the same tile now. We actually will probably be a bit more sweaty with this script than we were with previous ones. So let me have these people who aren't here researching. And I'm going to have these guys move to a different province so they're not showing up in my thing. I'm going to hit uh, what, Z to hide them. Okay. And let's have you... Patrol with you. Okay. And why? Okay. So now I've got just the people who are going to show up. Okay. So what do we want to do? This guy's got to do foul vapors at the end of his script. We need, we need one. We'll have this guy do. We'll start off with enlarge. I think we're going to have her start off with the things that only she can do, which are the holy things. So we're going to have her start off with blessing and then regrowth. And then the next best thing she can do is cast Gift of Formlessness, but that's going to require a water gem. So we'll go ahead and put that on her. This one, he's going to do Enlarge. Then he can do Invulnerability and then Soul Vortex and then Spells. Something like that. This guy has a few different things he can do. We can do Moss Body. We can do Protection. I don't think they have access to magic weapons. If they do, it's not a huge deal if they have a couple of them. If they had a lot, it would be a big deal. But I think what we're going to do here with this guy is we're going to have him do Moss Body. Do we do Moss Body first? Yeah, I think we'll do Moss Body first. So we'll do Moss Body, and then we'll do... I don't know, I probably should do it closer to the time Gift of Formlessness hits. So maybe we'll also start off with Invulnerability and Soul Vortex. I, I don't like the idea. We'll do Soul Vortex third. We'll do Moss Body second, and then we'll do Soul Vortex. So this is... Wait, why is it... Oh, no. Okay, we just need two Death Gems. And then we're going to put up our big spell, which is going to be Foul Vapors, which is going to require three Nature Gems to cast. So that's nice. And then instant cast spells. Are, are there other things we want to cast? We do like gift of the hair. That's not going to matter much. I mean, I think these guys also technically have access to like the fear buff, nature, anything else we want to cast? I mean, we, I guess we might as well do bark skin. It's not like they have a lot of fire magic. I feel like those are like famous last words. Oh, we should do elemental fortitude. It's just a super clutch spell. Elemental Fortitude. 
And maybe instead of, we could get into a skelly spam thing at the end. But they're going to route first. I think we're just going to do spells. I think we're going to kill the mages with style vapors if we get into a skelly spam thing. And we'll have this guy just throw out a bark skin here at the end. So this is going to be our script for that. And hopefully they move on top of the capital and we get a big fight and everything is cool. We're going to have to script this. Uh, this is going to be a little sweaty. Let's, I think we're going to need everybody here. It's not uh, already converted. A few more dryads. The dryads are... We might not be able to use all of them. I guess we'll, we'll do this one together. You know what? Just so you guys know, if you want to click off of the video, you're not going to miss much at this point. We're just going to script this, but I, I've been doing it mostly by myself. So I'll just show you, just so you know, what it takes. These were the, the weaknesses here. Oh, did that guy not patrol? Was that guy? No, he was patrolling. So that, like, th there was a hole up here at the front of the formation, and... Huh. That guy was supposed to be there. And there's a guy supposed to be here, too. Were they not... Maybe they weren't... Wait, control T? I don't know why they weren't there. That's so weird. We all saw the, the hole, right? Where they s snuck out. I'll, I'll show it to you again. So there was a hole right here at the front where they're sneaking through. Whoop. They must have been supposed to patrol, but somehow didn't. Like maybe I had them doing some other activity. Well, let's make sure they're patrolling. These small little details can matter. We would have, I think, converted a lot more. Okay, so here's a hole. We need one more guy here. Right here? Let's say, yeah. And that spot's filled. This spot is a hole. So I'm going to put somebody up here until we get a, a buddy. That's full. This is full. This is a hole. This is a hole. These are all full. That's a hole. Okay, and these are full. So we've got, we need four more. And we can't use dryads. We have to use bigger creatures. I don't know if we have four more. We might have to use these. Pretty sure we're going to have to use these. Because I don't think we have anybody else to add. So one, two, three, four. Okay, we're going to add these four. But the problem is I don't necessarily know where they are. One second. Let's put these guys out here so I know where to click on them. Some of the logistics of like being able to do this like to set this up, a lot of it is like just how you organize the tactics screen. It could be really hard to do it if things aren't in the right spot. And getting kind of this precise, pre uh, precise positioning. So we've got that. We've got this. 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 Okay. So now we've got this thing properly set up. We're going to make sure they're all patrolling. We don't actually need these dryads here. We can put them behind and they just will have a chance to kind of convert from the bog beasts. We also could set them maybe like right here and the bog beasts will stream by them. And then we have to stock up on gems. So something like this. We have to make sure we hand out all of our, I think it's three for this actually, hand out all the gems and hand out all the axes of hate. I think our scripts are pretty good. I'm going to be looking at that as we scroll down as well. A couple of gems for rigor. I think we need one gym for foul vapors. Uh, this guy, we're just going to have this guy. Oh, wait. Hold, 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 hold the spells. I don't know if it's going to let him cast it. One second. Oh, yeah, it's, it's actually not even doing that part of it. Like, it won't inherit the spells part at all here. Man, Illwinner really did not like. <laughs> he took that out. I like, I was so happy there's a way to keep commanders standing still. And they're like, yoink. No, sir, you cannot have it. It's too complicated. They haven't gone to commander school. They can't stand still. They will run forward and be with the enemy. Gosh. 
it makes the game feel a little bit more like majesty for those of you who played that you know it's like it just makes people just a, you know like the commanders are just a little bit dumber where you feel like you're babysitting them it's kind of fun but i don't know also very frustrating at times i'm sure okay so let's hand out some of these axes of hate here we have three to hand out i'm trying to not give it to people on corners because they're not going to get that's one of the things i'm looking at is looking at this little display seeing who's not in a corner and figuring they're a much better candidate to hold it. It's like, this guy's not in the corner. He's a pretty good candidate to hold it. This guy is in a corner. This guy's not. So we'll go ahead and stick it on this guy. So, you know, there's the thinking on that. we are going to fix some of the scripts. Bloop. Things look... Oh, wait, I'm going to... Put this on hold. I don't want them walking forward. At least not until later. We'll make this control zero. And I actually, what I should do is put them at the back so they can sneak out the back, but not the other places. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pull this guy out. I'm going to do this one at a time. There's already one there. I think we pulled him from here, yeah. I think we pulled this guy from here. Okay, so we're gonna put them here. This was the other one. So we're gonna pull him over this way, and I guess we'll pull this guy out. Put this guy here, and then we're gonna put this guy here. Something like this. So that way, when these guys inevitably get off script and they run forward, they're, we're going to have the back open, not the front. Which should be nice. Okay, so these guys are all patrolling. Let's hit it again. Fire up the glamour cannon. Something like that. If I need to make another thug kit or two, it would also be really nice to have... Let's take the hammer and put it on our this guy, and we're going to make a, an amulet of anti-magic or two. So I feel like we're, we're a little short on those. Earth gems, I think, are our most valuable type right now. We can make another hammer, so I think we're going to engage in that. Now we're going to take this hammer, since... now we can make another armor. One more armor of knights. This lady, we need her to make a the astral nature booster. This one, the Moonvine bracelet. She's our only astral nature person. So... Yeah, we'll have her just make that. I don't think those are our most prioritized gems for the hammer. And water certainly isn't. We should take this off her. We're going to make another amulet of anti-magic here. And also, true to what I said, let's try to actually cloud trap peas if I can. One of these adepts over this direction. I want to get another adept and put them here. We really... It would be nice to build a a fort here, do a wizard tower. We've got 63 slaves as well. I think that's time for us to empower somebody in blood and have them pick up the mantle instead of our god just doing it always. Maybe we do, and we should probably just use one of these guys. But let's do it in a place, you can see we've burnt the population down in the places we've preached. Here's probably a good place to do it. So we'll, we'll take one of them and we'll just move them here. No. I mean, this actually is a pretty good place to do it too. I mean, there's a ton of pop, probably too much population, but I uh, will empower this guy in blood, make them retreat to hold them dying. Uh, we're going to hold, hold, retreat. Put this guy back here surrounding him in case there's birds or something that attack. Because we should probably put a fort here. We have a lot of money. Let's go ahead and start building a fort. Uh, I was hoping because this was a, a fort, I mean, a, a throne, our dominion would spread here, it would turn into a forest. We just take in forever. We'll probably tear down this palisade at some point, but well, are we going to build a palisade? What would it take to do a wizard tower? 
one more level of alteration. So we'll finish Con Conjuration 7. Let's pick up another level of alteration so I can Wizard Tower. We'll probably have to do that with my God, which means we'll probably need to make a Bloodstone. What do you need to be? Is it five or four? Four, yeah. So our God with the Bloodstone can do it. But we don't have the, the Earth Gems either. So lots of problems. For our kids, we are pretty barren. We need a lot of things. Certainly we need some weapons. So we're going to do that right now. And then we also need, we're making, I believe, one armor. So we need two hats. So we're going to make two hats with these guys. Boom, boom. And then we're going to make, there's probably other hats. Like I think this would actually be a really good hat. So we could try that too on some of them. Then we could make, we've got the, the these. So yeah, the amulets of anti-magic, I think would, would flesh that out. So yeah, I don't think we need too much more there. Oh, this guy could come. Yeah, anyway. Let's sight search with, oh wait, no. Oh, these are our thugs and super combatants. Where do we go with these guys? I don't know if I want to force a fight, especially on the attack. Because I want the enemy to have time to route. I want the enemy to route first. I think we search here. See if they attack into us. I don't want to push my luck. And if, even though I think these guys actually have a chance of killing this. No, they probably don't. But, yeah, we'll see. Paul? Okay, I'm going to finish the turn here. I'm going to pause. Okay, a few things. Um, one, this place where we've got a lot of these centaurs reanimating. Uh, we had a boatload of elephants here. Look at this, 13 elephants. We need to make better use of them than we've made our previous elephants, like put defensive buffs on them and things like that. But uh, that's super cool. Very glad to have them on the force. And the other thing I was thinking about, we have a ton of money, and I don't think it's from events. So yeah, I think it's because we conquered Scalaria, we're up in gold. We've helped a little bit with our upkeep here. I think it's time we go ahead and take up, take it up one more notch to, to three dominion. So I think we're going to go ahead and break through this, this temple threshold. We've been sitting at it for a while, which is nine temples. And we're going to go ahead and go on up to 14. So that means we can go ahead and build a temple here. We're going to go ahead and build a lab and temple here. I'm going to move a mage over here too, to do the lab part. We're going to go ahead and build a temple here. Oh, we already have a temple there. And Gia, do we build a temple? I'm kind of inclined not to keep enemy dominion here. But, like, place like this, let's go ahead and build a temple. A uh, place like this, let's go ahead and build a temple. So one, two, three, four. We'll build one more next turn. I kind of don't want to accidentally do six. I think I only did four. But if I accidentally did an extra one, I don't want to go ahead and put the fifth one down. Um, okay, we've preached this up, it looks like, to seven as well. So we're going to go ahead and move this guy. I think we'll move him over here. See if we can... We're a little bit playing whack-a-mole, trying to keep seven candles in a province. Um... Yeah, like we've had two people preaching here, can barely get our dominion in there. We should have somebody preaching there, though. Need a proper dryad. These these undead dryads can't preach anymore. I love that they, there's so many little weird things they did, like quality of life, so like it tells you how many here. That's so nice. Let's get a dryad from somewhere else. Well, you over here. Okay. You were done site searching. So we're going to have this guy pull back. We might magic phase him into the, the forging area so we can start forging some astral artifacts. Um, and we're going to need to bring all, over some more troops so i think we're gonna use this guy shuttle in a big army over this way if the thugs fail we don't really have a lot of turns to react we're gonna have basically one turn so we're actually gonna take all of these guys here and move all of them 
at least as far in range as we can. So I guess that'll be here. I think we can get to Scalaria if they're on top of it from here, but I probably should go ahead and pick up a big pack of these guys as well. Maybe two packs. And let's move them. Oh gosh, it's gonna take for forever. Well, it's a long process. We better go ahead and start it. We're gonna have these guys transit up this way, bringing in some reinforcements. Everybody has their scripts done, at least sort of. The other thing we could think about is casting Hal at this fight. Val Vapors works. It's 200 fatigue. We're going to be knocked out. Yeah, I think that's okay. I think this is fine. Put a bit more distraction chaff here. Like three. They attack here. This is not exactly in order. Hold and fire. Tighten this up a little. These guys behind the troops. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it's a little better than it was. And then let's make sure they're all on the same thing. Hold an attack. That'll serve if they if this small force comes over here and attacks. We should be able to hold. We're going to bump this up to like, maybe we'll do 11. Um, get the mage coming to build a lab. Yeah, I think things are looking uh, on the up and up. So we're at 40 minutes, so I think we'll call the episode here. And I will ceremoniously hit intern here. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.